Hi everybody, Matthias here. Today we're checking out the brand new Pianoverse plugin from IK Multimedia. Why they sent me the plugin, they have no say over what I do or what I say in, in this video. The Pianoverse consists of eight uniquely sampled pianos. There's uh, everything from the concert grand piano, which is uh, the piano we will look at in this video. There's uh, the Royal Upright, the Black Diamond, the New York Grand, the Hamburg Grand, and the Grand Concerto, the Liberty Upright, and uh, the Black Pearl. Piano Wars is a quite big plugin. Each of the pianos is about 20 gigs download, and in the browser menu for uh, Piano Wars, we can see there's a whole bunch of uh, presets already for uh, this single piano, the Concert Grand. And I'm currently playing the Into the Nebula. With the addition that I attach the mod wheel to control the space or the reverb. So let's just take a listen to the raw piano sound without um, any of the spaces effects or the reverbs. Right, so as I mentioned, we're only demoing the Concert Grand Piano in this video. If you want me to demo some of the other pianos, please let me know in the comments. So I think that out of the box, uh, this uh, raw piano sound sounds really, really nice. But uh, since this is one of the presets, uh, there might be uh, small changes, maybe to the equalizer and uh, compressors, etc. You can see that the tone is set a little bit to the top here. So let's see what one of these uh, parameters can, how it can change the sound. So that's obviously changing the tone quite subtly, but uh, quite nice. Space is obviously the reverb. We have the red planet. So we're basically playing on, on Mars. And we have the tuning. If you want to play in, in a different tuning, the standard tuning. Let's check the model parameters. This is the initial note level when we strike the keys. And we have the release volumes. The hammer noise. Pedal noise. The harp resonance. It's a really, 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 really beautiful sound in the harp, in harp resonance. It makes it sound like you're, you're basically playing the real piano.
Right, let's uh, listen to the lid position. So the sound is more open and, and comes through more, obviously, if we have the lid more open. Right, so let's go into the spaces here again and change the red planet into some other spaces. It's a really lush and long, long reverb. Let's try the piano booth. seafloor. Yeah, so you can definitely use this uh, as a sound design tool. Like do stuff like that. Stone Chapel. Yeah, so there's definitely some cool effects in here. So this is the particles effect. Let's try to add a shimmer effect. Right, so at the mix page uh, you can change uh, how the mics are positioned. Now we're close mics, let's change that to coincide. Totally different sound. And let's activate the compressor. So it's a great way to make the piano uh, poke out in, in a mix if you're making a pop track or something. Definitely use the compressor. Let's try uh, the British.
And then there's an equalizer pre the compressor and after the compressor. I don't think you can drag these, but uh, it's uh, great to have an equalizer before the compressor and also after the reverb and after the compressor. And also a final compressor there if you want to add like compression on the actual reverb too. Okay, so let's briefly look at the effects in the piano verse. So there's a whole bunch of effects in here. Vintage reverb, choral, which is a chorus. If you want to create a really nice, uh, like, pop piano. Convo morph. I guess it's some kind of a convolution reverb, and you can mix between two different convolutions. Yeah, it's a really nice atmosphere if you're using the convolution verbs. It's a bit hard uh, playing, playing with the pen in the hand at the same time. So that's the delay. Let's um, try the lo-fi. Some tape saturation if you need that. So very sweet and crisp, uh, crisp saturation. And the vintage plate, which we heard earlier. And finally the shimmer. Alright, so we looked at some of the effects here. Let's now try some of the different presets. Uh, so there's uh, categorized by mood and also by musical genres. But let's look at the moods and find uh, blissful. Thank you. 
so horror horror movie stuff Okay, so that was a brief introduction into the Pianoverse. And personally, I have a very special relation to the piano because it was basically my first instrument. I started playing at around age 10. And uh, previously in my compositions, I've been using a lot of different pianos. From the Giga Piano back in the days to Piano Tech uh, moduling instrument. And uh, I usually go for the gentleman, but I'm probably going to switch over to using Pianoverse because uh, this is definitely one of the best raw sounds of the piano that I've heard in, uh, in a sampled instrument so far. The bundled effects, especially the reverbs and the compressors sounded really, really sweet and really nice. And it was super easy to place the piano in, in the mix without using external plugins, which I often do with other piano plugins. The price for a piano in the Pianoverse series is at the making of this video, 99.99 euros, excluding tax. And I think that that's around what other piano plugins cost in, in similar range. But they also have an all access plan, a monthly plan and a yearly plan. The monthly plan is 14.99 and the yearly plan is 149.99. Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed this little presentation of uh, the Pianoverse. Please uh, don't be afraid to ask me questions in the comments or uh, any feedback or whatever to uh, future videos. Thanks for watching today. My name is Matthias. See you in the next video. Bye.